welcome to another episode of Chad's Beer Reviews. Last beer of all Ohio Beer Week, and I'm hoping I saved the best for last. Another beer sent me from James, not the Better Beer Authority. And this is the one that everybody's been uh, saying is I'm probably going to like the best. This is the Brew Kettle Production Works White Raj, Raj, Raja Taming the Savage Hop India Pale Ale 12 ounce bottle. Um, it says West Coast style citrus tropical fruits. Uh, 6.8 ABV, 70 IBU, so it's, you know, going to be pretty bitter. Um, pours a nice, you know, typical West Coast IPA, kind of a, a glowing orange color. Uh, pretty, uh, you know, hazy though. I can see a little bit of carbonation. You know, a decent head on there. Mm, kind of reminds me of like, you know, actually kind of reminds me of like a Colorado IPA. I get a lot of sweetness in this one. I get like like almost like black tea, almost like iced tea. I mean, definitely lots of hops in there for sure. Uh, kind of like in the more ruination, but like way more like rich and I can. It's it smells more sweet than citrus. Um, we'll see if it tastes that way. Cheers. Hmm. Yeah, it reminds me of. It's funny, they said West Coast IPA, and like I said, more like Colorado IPA. Reminds me of like a Left Hand or a, a Oscar Blues or Avery, kind of like like a, a very junior, a very junior version of the Avery Maharaja. Um, very, you know, sticky, syrupy, tropical fruit sweetness, whereas like, like a Stone IPA, Racer 5, Pliny, tastes more like actual fruit juice. This kind of tastes like fruit juice concentrate. Bitter throughout the whole palate from, you know, beginning to end. Not an absurd amount of bitterness, but definitely a nice, nice, nice bitterness to let you know that it's there. Uh, I mean, 70 IBUs, yeah, I mean, that's, that's pretty high, and this is only a single IPA. So plenty of uh, bitterness on there. A lot of orange on this one. Uh, uh, I'm guessing they probably use Amarillo. Um, Probably some of the the hop, the sea hops, um, you know, mostly orange. Not not a whole lot of anything else. I mean, I'm not so not so much grapefruit, but you know, just like a general kind of citrus. You get right in the finish. You're getting these kind of herbaly notes, like I mentioned, kind of like iced tea, kind of like black tea, um, just kind of earthy resininess, like kind of like six point resin, but not nearly as you know, not to the extreme amount as that. It, so yeah, that might actually be the best comparison, like a a, a six point resin light. <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like six like six point resin or Avery Maharaja, but dialed way down. Um, so I mean, it, it does make it extremely drinkable. I have to admit it. Um, you know, it goes down very smooth. It's uh, it's quite sweet while it's in the mouth. Like I said, like the the kind of f tropical fruit concentrate kind of syrupy. Almost, it's it's a little sticky in the mouth. Um, aftertaste is like you know hops linger here, but they're not they're not obnoxious or anything. Yeah, not much else to say. I mean, I definitely like this one a lot. It's not it's kind of on the border there between an eight and a nine, but you know whenever I'm on the border or something, I always go in the lower end because if it's the higher one, you know it's the higher one. But um, yeah, I mean it, it's it's a really solid beer all around. I give it an enthusiastic 8 out of 10 for the White Raja by the Brew Kettle Production Works. That's a pretty long name for a brewery. Um, yeah, really good beer, really good single IPA. Um, great drinkability on it. I would not, re I would not call this refreshing at all. I was gonna, I was actually gonna shoot this review outside because it's you know nice and sunny and warm, but it's very very windy, so I had to come inside. But this isn't, this isn't refreshing me, but it certainly is waking my palate up. So, uh, yeah, again, 8 out of 10 for the White Raja. Thanks to James Lott, the Better Beer Authority, for sending this beer and the other five beers that he sent. And that does it for all Ohio Beer Week. Might take a few days off before we get back to the regular routine, but um, until then, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Cheers.